Five banks, one man. Tucson police need your help catching a serial bank robber who's gotten away with the cash of crimes in the past month and a half. Jessica Chapin is live at the Broadway and Camino Seco Bank hit just this week. With us not in your side, Crime Watch. Guy, this is what every scene is like. Take a look around. Crowded grocery store parking lot, middle of the afternoon, broad daylight. You wouldn't think that somebody would be able to pull off a robbery in a location like this, but police are tracking one man who's done it five times. Grocery store banks hit by the same bandit. Police say it's this man caught on camera each time wearing little disguise but a hat. Each time he hands the teller a note and makes off with the cash. What is concerning in this, this particular case is that his threats are not only directed toward the victim teller, but to the surrounding community. That's why TPD Detective Robert Gomez is asking for help to ID this man. He says the robber hides in plain sight, blending into the grocery store crowd. So far, the brazen bandit has hit almost every two weeks like he's picking up a paycheck. June 25th, he robbed a compass bank on the east side. Ten days later, a U.S. bank off Broadway. Eleven days after that, another Compass Bank. Twelve days later, another U.S. bank. And this week, a Wells Fargo on the east side. But Gomez says they've seen similar serial bank robbers before. And they hope with your help, they'll catch this crook. How confident are you that uh, this person is going to get caught? I'm fairly confident. We have, we have good evidence. And it's my experience that greed leads to their downfall. Now, Gomez tells us that they're seeing this tactic a lot more often, too. Bank robbers not necessarily brandishing any weapon, but just handing the teller a note and then making a quick getaway. Guy? Jessica, these are all grocery store banks. Are they less secure than the standalone buildings? Well, they don't have a lot of those security measures, the bulletproof glass, the, uh, the barriers that the standalone banks have. Uh, Gomez did tell us that there's one bank, uh, Washington Federal, that has a great system. He says that they don't let anyone in until they take off things like hats and sunglasses. All right, Jessica, thank you.